Welcome back to the Alliance Way Gear Guide for 2022. With me right now, I've got the rusty snaggle tooth. Let's get in it. In front of me right here, we've got the rusty 2022 snaggle tooth. And this board comes in a 4.2 all the way to a 5.2 comes with five fin boxes. Uh, this one right here is a 4.6, and we ran the thruster setup with some future fins, and it seemed to work out really well for us. For me, I had a lot of fun on this board. Uh, immediately jumped on it, and there wasn't an awkward stage. Uh, I knew exactly how it was gonna ride. I knew it was gonna turn when I wanted it to, to turn and release on the lip when I wanted it to release. Um, so, just initially jumping on board, there's no awkward stage, and I was pretty pumped on that. To give you guys a little better idea of how this board stacks up against some of the others, let's get into the categories and break it down for you. So the first one we're gonna look at is stays and wave. We're talking one through 10, and when I say one, that means it's a struggle to stay in the wave, and 10 means it's super fast and it's out of control. So for me, this board kind of was the money maker. It wasn't too fast and it wasn't too slow, so I'm gonna hit it right in the middle at five. Now carving on this board, um, pretty easy and fun. Uh, this board, like I said, has a spine down the middle, so the rail to rail happens real easy. Um, and the nose doesn't hang up when you wanna make those deep bottom turns and really try to snap it at the lip. Um, so for me, carving, this thing does exactly what you want it to do. It's not too aggressive. I, I think we're gonna land this at a seven. If you guys were able to check out the rusty underbite review that we did, you'll notice that that board's a little bit more narrow than this one. Um, that being said, the pop on this board, I feel like was a little bit better because you had a little bit more board surface to deal with. A little bit wider makes the board travel a bit faster. So, you know, when you take your one or two pumps down the line, it starts to pick up that speed faster. So for that, it was easier to have all that speed to blast off the lip and get the air that you wanted. Um, so like I'm saying that this board was just a little bit of an effortless ride so was the pop on it. Pop on this board is probably gonna run at about an eight. The last thing we like to look at is the ability scale. The ability scale is simply one through 10, you know, one being beginner, 10 being pro. This just helps you get a better idea of if this board's super advanced, you might have a hard time if you're just starting out surfing. Um, but I don't think that's the case for this board. I think that this board is made kind of for everybody. It can be really aggressive, but it's also maybe a little bit easier to ride than the underbite but it also you know, is a little bit more aggressive and a little bit harder to ride than the urchin. This board obviously lands kind of in the middle. You can put a beginner on it, and if you're a pro rider, you're obviously gonna have a blast on it. But if you are a beginner, it's not gonna be a hard board to ride. You're gonna be able to stay in the wave, and you're gonna have a board that you can progress on and not outgrow. So that kind of, if you're gonna spend this much money on a wake surfer, it kind of makes sense to get something that's gonna last you a while and I think this could definitely be one of those options. To put a number on it so you guys can see where it stacks up, we're gonna go right in the middle at a five. Like I said, this board's meant for anybody, beginner, intermediate, all the way to pro. Everybody's gonna have a good time on this board, so I would recommend it to anyone that wants to try it. If you guys are interested in any of these boards, you wanna see them, all the sizes they offer, head over to rustysurfboards.com and check them out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next reviews that are coming out. Uh, hope to see you guys soon.